Hello, you're welcome to another civic education class. My name is Subahat. The theme of our lesson is law and order. And our topic is orderliness. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to state the meaning of orderliness, enumerate some examples of orderliness, and state and discuss the roles of orderliness in the society. In every society, there's a body of rules that guides and governs the citizens of that society. These rules are referred to as laws. Laws are made to protect and govern citizens of a country, as well as help to maintain order in that society. When these laws are obeyed, it helps to create an orderly environment. For instance, in Nigeria, we have over 250 ethnic groups. This creates a lot of diversity of people. And for these people to coexist peacefully, there are certain laws that are made in Nigeria to help maintain orderliness in the country. Now, what is orderliness? Orderliness is the act of following laid down guidelines and rules that governs a group of people. It also means arranging things in a proper manner. Orderliness also means following and obeying rules and regulations as well as respecting constituted authority. In every society, orderliness helps to create a peaceful and harmonized society for everyone to coexist peacefully. The absence of order leads to disorder. And when there is disorder, there's a lot of chaos and violence in that society. In a society where there is order, development is easy to thrive in that society. This is because there's going to be peace and harmony and an enabling environment for people to dwell, work and achieve goals and objectives. Some examples of orderliness are observing proper decorum. What is decorum? It is a correct or appropriate behavior in manners and conduct. For example, every student is expected to sit or stand quietly when the principal is talking to them. This shows a sense of orderliness and also respecting constituted authority. Another example of orderliness is obeying traffic rules and regulations. Traffic regulations are created to help maintain order on the road for road users. These road users include cyclists, vehicle users, pedestrians, and so on. Obeying traffic regulations such as road signs, traffic lights, and so on help to reduce accidents on the road as well as maintain order on the road. Therefore, every road user is expected to obey all traffic regulations and rules. Having a queuing culture is another example of orderliness. This entails people or vehicles forming or remaining on a line while they wait to receive a service. Examples of places where people may be needed to queue are at the bank, at ATM points, at petrol stations, and so on. Everyone is expected to stay on a queue and not jump the queue whenever a queue is formed, irrespective of the position or status of that person. This is going to help maintain orderliness in that particular situation. Furthermore, if a leader follows a queue or stand in line and wait for his or her turn, it sends a message to the followers to know that if this person can wait for his or her turn, the follower can also do the same. All of this helps to maintain orderliness in the society. Having good listening skills is an example of orderliness. This involves listening attentively 
to what others are saying. For you to have a good listening skill, you have to wait for your turn before you speak. Because if everybody is talking, no one is listening. This will help to maintain orderliness in our society. Now let's learn about some roles of orderliness in a society. Orderliness plays a vital role in the development of any society. Some roles that it plays are, one, it helps to create, achieve, and promote peace in the society. This means that when a society is made up of orderly people, it creates a sense of orderliness and it helps the citizens to coexist peacefully among themselves. Two, it helps to train the minds of citizens to accept social values, standards, and patterns of behaving in a civilized society. This means that when people know that they are expected to act in an orderly manner in the society, it makes them well-behaved citizens. And as a whole, it makes the country a civilized place. Three, it has the ability to make citizens act in a responsible and respectable manner. This makes them accountable citizens, as well as helps them to respect each other as members of the same society. Four, it provides a platform for correcting citizens who are misguided or have irresponsible lifestyle, thus making them better citizens. For example, when the principal is passing information to a group of students and some students are talking instead of listening to the principal, those students will be punished. The punishment serves as correction to make those students better people. Five, it helps to make citizens thoughtful and careful in whatever that they do. This makes them to consider other citizens in their actions. For example, a driver who obeys traffic rules and regulations will help to make the road safe and orderly, thereby keeping other road users safe. Finally, it helps to save time and reduce the frustration of other citizens. For example, a driver who doesn't obey traffic rules and regulations will cause a lot of disorder and chaos on the road, leading to heavy traffic. This is going to make other road users frustrated and it will waste their productive time. We've come to the end of the lesson. Let's take a quick recap on all that we've learned. We learned that orderliness is the act of following laid down guidelines and procedures. We also learned that some examples of orderliness are obeying traffic rules and regulations, observing proper decorum, and having a queuing culture. Finally, we learned that orderliness plays the role of helping to create, achieve, and promote peace in the society. Let's take two questions to test our knowledge on all that we've learned. Question one, what does orderliness mean? A, the rules put in place to maintain order on the road for road users. B, the act of doing things in a politically correct manner. C, the act of obeying, observing, and following laid down guidelines. The correct answer is C, the act of obeying, observing, and following laid down guidelines. Question two, which of the following is an example of orderliness? A, educating children. B, observing proper decorum. C, empowering the youth. The correct answer is B, observing proper decorum. I hope you can now state the meaning of orderliness and enumerate some examples of orderliness. Thanks for being part of my class. See you next time.